Good morning. I am in the beautiful mountains of northern New Mexico, and this morning I'm going to do a review on my favorite hiking boots. I get this question quite often, what's your favorite hiking boots and why? So today I'm going to tell you exactly what my favorite hiking boot is and why. I'm also going to do a comparison of several other hiking boots that I've owned and tell you exactly why this one is my favorite. These are the Oboe's Women's Bridgers. And I'm going to tell you a little bit more about these. Okay, these are my hiking boots. <laughs> I've owned these for three years and I bought them in a little store, little outdoor shop in Pinedale, Wyoming, three years ago. And I gotta be fair, um, I'm hard on shoes, very hard on shoes, but these have lasted me three years. And I'm happy about that, and I'll tell you why. I bought these boots for about $200 there in Pinedale. They lasted three years, so I think that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, I'm really, really hard on shoes, so um, no fault of oboes for sure. I love these boots so much that about a year and a half ago, I bought these because I'm I always wear afraid my hiking that boots every day. I don't just wear them for hiking. So um, they get a lot of wear and tear. Now, let me tell you a little bit about my hiking boot stories. I had another pair um, several years ago and they lasted 10 years, but I didn't wear them every day. My first real hiking boots that I owned was a pair of Merrells and I loved them. I had them for over 10 years. Of course, I wasn't wearing them every day. I only used them when I would go hiking until I got on the road full time. Then I started wearing them every day. I wore those Merrells out just like I wore these out. I even used shoe goo several times on them because I loved them so much and I could never find a replacement. They began to tear and were no longer waterproof just like these. It was time to get a new pair. After I finally decided it was time to get rid of the Merrells, I did a lot of research and I bought Keen hiking boots. These aren't the ones. This is my second pair of Keens. But I did a, a lot of research and um, everything I read was these were the best hiking boots. But I'm here to tell you I had issues. I bought the original Keens in a little shop in New Mexico and paid about $150 for them and they only lasted a year. I'm going to show you a little clip about how they wore in one year. And they are waterproof. I don't remember the number, but I had a problem. These are less, less than a year old <laughs> and I'm hard on shoes, but you know, these are supposed to be really good hiking boots. But what I want to tell you about these, I mean, I didn't wear them out or anything on the bottom. I mean, they're still had some life in them, but they were, they tore up pretty bad. This one worse than the left foot, you know, that wasn't bad. And I did put a little shoe goo. I did have some on here, but it wasn't, it wasn't working. As you can see in the video, they didn't last very long. Um, they started to tear and they weren't waterproof anymore. The only good thing about Keen, they do have a one year warranty and I was able to get a free pair, which are these. Now, I only wore these for about a year and they started doing the same thing. They're, you can see here, they're starting to crack and I'm just starting to wear not very good so clearly these are not the boots for me i've kept them as a backup pair to my current oboes but now my current oboes will become my backup pair and these will be put on my feet today <laughs> and i will retire these so now let's talk about how these boots actually have performed for me Let's start with comfortability. From the minute I put these boots on, I did not need a break-in period. Um, I put them on and they were fine. They were comfortable from, from the get-go. I do um, 
for some reason have an issue with shoes and the heels back here wear out um if you can see these in three years have just now started to wear out so that's usually the first part to go on any shoe that i wear is this back part and then it starts rubbing and it will cause blister blisters on me um but these are just now starting to show wear in that area so comfortability thumbs up all the way obviously because i've worn them so much so they call these a dry boot and right here on the emblem it says dry waterproof b i found these to be waterproof um, until obviously they have torn but um i was i do a lot of fishing and hiking sometimes that means across streams and um they have been waterproof obviously they're not waterproof now that's one reason i am retiring them because i do have a big hole <laughs> on the side but uh never had an issue with them until they started to tear which has been in the last um about three months or so they've started to really um tear so now one of the reasons i did buy this boot was for the sole if you look at the sole you can see how thick that sole is it's one of the reasons why a big tough sole is important to me because i've done some hiking on riverbeds and after that it uh it, it was painful so that's why i always buy a good hiking boot with a very thick sole as you can tell <laughs> if you compare them i have no soul i have no soul man left on this boot and yes i've started to notice it pretty bad hiking and sliding and <laughs> slipping and falling so i do need the tread so love the sole now just the overall wear and tear um, i think these boots have performed um excellent like i said i'm very very hard on shoes and um, i have no complaints of how long these have lasted wearing them every day um, i did notice about a year or so ago the tongue started to peel back a little bit right here um, as long as you didn't get water up there they're still waterproof no issues with the shoestrings i've never replaced them never had them tore fray nothing um you know the little plastic thing that comes on shoestrings on all four of these these came they came off i don't know why or where um or how but they've never frayed so that's amazing. Never had them thin, anything like that. So the shoestrings are excellent too. Never have replaced the shoestrings. I did break this little brad right here. You see um, where you lace your boot right here. I lost that, but that was no fault of oboes. I caught it on my steps of my camper and it broke that off. But I just didn't use it but other than that the overall wear and tear i think has been fair so today i retire these boots i love them so much but it's time for a new so today i put these on my feet i will go to amazon and i will purchase me another pair let me know in the comments below what kind of hiking boots you you like um what you wear and um do you wear them out like i do or do you buy a new pair before <laughs> before it gets there let me know in the comments below mm -hmm.